What's up guys, it's Jam from WearTesters.com here with a performance review on the Adidas Rose 5. So upon first glance, you might have your concerns with the traction pattern Adidas decided to go with, especially these translucent areas, but there's no need to worry because the Rose 5 has exceptional traction. On clean courts and even outdoors, the Rose 5 will cover you during all movements, but on dusty floors, wipes are necessary. It's nothing major, but it is a little bit hard in the heat of a game to remember to wipe. There was an instance where I didn't wipe for a while, and the ref called me for a slide. I feel like that was the traction's fault. But, as long as you keep wiping, you're gonna be just fine. So the moment we have all been waiting for, full length boost foam on a basketball model. If you're used to the plush and ultra bouncy cushion setups featured in a lot of boost running models, you might be surprised on how firm the Rose 5 setup is. This is for the better basketball wise as Adidas opts to go with a little bit more stability by featuring a little bit more of a firmer boost foam. In the heel, you're still gonna get that great bounce and impact protection, but up in the forefoot, it's a little bit more firm, more responsive, definitely caters towards quick guards. So the more you move, the boost foam somewhat activates. So during hard cuts, long strides, and even coming down from rebounds, you're gonna feel that good spring that you would want from boost foam, especially when coupled with this torsional X bar here. While the cushion setup isn't perfect and not what most people are probably going to expect, Adidas has a really nice building block here for future models. Personally, it was a little bit too firm for me as I'm more of a slasher and explosive player, but quick guards who like responsiveness and court feel are really, really gonna like the boost foam setup in the Rose 5. So the Rose 5 is a little bit difficult to grade in the material section as different colorways have different variety of materials. So my grade on the materials on this colorway may be unfair to other colorways that feature different materials. So keep that in mind when watching the score. On this L train colorway, we get this synthetic durable upper. While this upper is durable structurally, not so much aesthetically as after only a few hours of play, scuffs and scratches were visible. This is only a visual flaw and it doesn't affect the overall performance of the Rose 5. It's just a little bit of a bummer. With that being said, the synthetic is still a little bit stiff and when I was making hard cuts and stops, my foot would slam into the toe box since there is a little bit of dead space and it was really uncomfortable to the point where I didn't even want to make those movements. It was that discomforting. Hopefully other colorways with more pliable and softer materials kind of remedy that problem. But as this colorway sits right now with this material, it's a little bit disappointing. So as mentioned in the material section, there is a little bit of dead space in this toe box comparable to the Kobe 9 Elite. Now if you lace up to the last eyelet, your foot will be contained to stop sliding into the toe box, but this hard material featured in the ankle area was jamming into me, which causes discomfort, but only for a few hours. After a good break in time, you won't have that problem anymore. It's just something to know. Here at Wear Testers, we've also had some comments saying that the fit cage was stabbing them in the lateral forefoot. This didn't happen to me, so our advice is to go in store, try it on to ensure the best fit for you. If you can't try them on, just go true to size, you should be good. Even with those flaws, the fit is still really good on the Rose 5, as it always is in the Rose Signature line. Your midfoot and heel aren't going anywhere, it isn't too tight, it isn't too loose. The Rose 5 really wraps around your foot nicely, and while you might think the ankle area is a little bit loose, that TPU heel counter is going to keep you locked in there for a secure fit. So while Sprint Web offers lightweight stability, it also provides a little bit of breathability. So while the overall ventilation on the Rose 5 is enough to prevent hot spots, it isn't anything crazy like the early iterations of the Crazy Light line. Again, a variety of materials on different colorways may add more ventilation or less, but as this colorway stands right now, it gives you enough ventilation to be comfortable on the court. So if I had to choose one word to describe the Rose 5, it would be secure. So the overall fit and lockdown was tremendous in the Rose 5, and that firm boost foam in the forefoot provided a stable ride while still giving you impact protection. That TPU X bar adds torsional support as well as a little extra spring back during strides. And as I said before, that TPU heel counter keeps you locked in doing its job. Overall, the Rose 5 has great support that won't leave you feeling like you want more or less. So to round it out, disappointed isn't the word that I would use to describe the Rose 5. It just wasn't what I was expecting. As it sits right now, the Rose 5 is a great 
building block for future models. It isn't perfect and the materials need a little bit of work as well as the fit. Both the support and cushion were excellent, but I could definitely see Adidas tweaking the boost foam a little bit to cater towards players like me. Does the Rose 5 crack my top 5 of the year? Maybe. I'm holding my reserve for different colorways because that sliding into the toe box was pretty painful. But like I said, softer materials may get better results. Overall, if you wanted to experience boost foam on the hardwood, the Rose 5 is a great pickup. But right now, it isn't a must cop for every single baller. Hope I helped you guys out a little bit. If I didn't answer any of your questions or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. And stay tuned to weartesters.com for more performance reviews or any of your performance needs. Till next time, guys. Peace. Mm, coming in like a violent. Usually not want to go and get violent. The friend said he's on top of the world, so I had him knock him down so them jokers wouldn't try again. Huh. So